Hey guys, Jack Scalfani here. Are you ready for another episode? I have to tell you, we had so much fun filming this series. And remember that, um, that this whole series, the reason why we went to Texas is to promote the Char Griller Texas Trio. If nobody finds me on the tour and I get back to the studio, we're going to give away another Texas Trio grill. So be watching all the series. And as soon as it's over, nobody found me. Uh, I'll be giving away another one. I'll tell you how to enter to win, okay? Char Griller, thank you for sponsoring the tour. Now it's time to get into San Antonio, Texas. You guys ready? Let's do it. All right. Well, look at that. Oh, that's the that's their portable, dude. Hey, they they take it around. Really? Yeah, it's got a window on it. Hey guys, is that like is this like the old one? That's a new one. No, actually, this one was the one that we were using for the bar. Really? Oh, yeah. you're part of the pig pen too? Yeah, we yeah we also own the pig pen. Cool, I and bet they got good wings. <laughs> yeah, they do. And you own what? The, yeah, we just what, purchased this. That wall? Right here. No, that building. What the is building. it? No, the, 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 the cricket. Oh, the phone. Oh, yeah. I could have parked in front of there. I told yeah. you, dude. Yeah, could have. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's all your fault. It is. It's the cricket. They're gonna make it into a deli. Oh, can I ask you guys? So, are you the owners? No. You just work here? Okay. Can I ask you questions about the place? Yeah, sure. All right. So we came here to try it out. Okay. And uh, we're just wondering like how it got started, how long you've been here, a little history. Actually, so it got started in this food trailer right here back in 2010. Right. And this Sorry. food trailer yeah, still goes to the same location. It's off of uh, Nacogdoches and 410 since uh -huh. 2010. And uh, pretty much they made their way. And in 2013, they had enough money and they ended up purchasing this, uh, this building nice. and making the restaurant. And in 2015, we bought this, renovated it, and turned it into the pig pen bar. Nice. Yeah. So how much meat you guys move? Just curious, roughly. Like brisket or? Brisket uh, daily, anywhere from, I want to say 30 to 50 briskets a day. Wow. Uh, it's Dude, that's, that's shed material. Yeah, so, wow. 15 up on the weekends. How about uh, pulled pork? You guys do pulled pork? Yeah, of course. Uh, pulled of pork. course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Go, tell, <laughs> go tell Franklin's. Yeah. Yeah, we just filmed there. Really? Yeah. Awesome. They awesome. only had three pulled porks they made. Today. Today. We were number fifty in line. They told us you're probably not gonna get pulled pork when you get in there. Uh, that's, I uh, go that's bullshit. I made more than <laughs> yeah. Man, <laughs> we need to uh, censor that. Um <laughs> literally, I'm like, I made sixteen for my church. You only made three for a day of business. Yeah, we normally do like maybe twenty four thirty. Twenty four to thirty pulled porks? Yeah. That's nice. So where's the entrance? How do we get in? Actually, so the entrance would just be right around this uh, that door right there. There's a door off in the corner and just go ahead and... And lastly, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sir. so rude. You've been so kind to us. What is your name? My name is Gilbert Flotus. Gilbert Flotus. It's a pleasure to meet you, Gilbert. Yes, sir. To meet Likewise. You. Thanks, What's man. I hope y'all enjoy y'all's food. What's your favorite? Me... Well, we're known for our brisket. Yeah. Pulled pork is just as good. Me personally, I really enjoy our ribs. It comes really? with a nice sweet you cut glaze. by the pound, like what we want. You weigh it. As as far as the other meats, yes, uh, ribs. You could buy a whole ra uh, whole rack. It's like with taxes and all, maybe twenty five ninety eight. Half rack with six ribs, twelve ninety nine, and then you could buy two uh, individual ribs for two dollars a piece. Okay, so they got everything here. They do beef everything. You heard them, and uh, there's no wait. I'm liking this place already. Smoke check. All right, so here's where you order, right here. And they got seats here like a bar. Kind of cool. I guess that's to-go orders, maybe. Okay, so there it is, guys, right there. Pulled pork, $8. All oh, those sandwiches, right. We got the coleslaw. Yeah. Let's, you want to start with sides or we go to meat? Let's go to the sides. That mashed potatoes kind of good. It does. It's got meat in it. Doesn't? Yeah, it's got meat in it. Uh -huh. like it has meat in it. Oh, yeah. We're all for that. That's and the that potato, potato salad. Sounds interesting. It's like a scoop. It's like there's so much going on in that. I want you to start with potato salad. Oh, you too? Yeah. All right. All right go ahead. We're starting with potato salad here. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's like whipped almost. Oh, no. There's pieces in it. That's cool. There we go. Good, dude. Is it? Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on in there, huh? There's a lot happening in that cup right there. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you know that's like a homemade recipe. Let's do the mac and cheese. All right, mac and cheese looks beautiful. Dude, look at you grabbing all the meat. Thanks for leaving me something. You can have that. <laughs> okay, you um before it even settled in. That's as soon as it hit. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah. Oh, you got a you got a review on that? Okay. We'll talk right. about that after. All right, and then we're doing coleslaw. I want that cabbage. That looks a little dry. A bit. It's the vinegar is what? Oh, vinegar based. Okay, there you go. Crunchy. All right, so that was the sides. Let's yep. show you the meat now. You can do the meat. Got the pulled pork. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's cool. Yeah. And then we'll talk about outside. Got the pulled pork right yep. there. The ribs. How many ribs do we get? Oh, nice. Three. Three. Look how nice. beautiful they're. I got eight pictures. Nice ribs. Nice pulled pork. We got chicken right there. There's the brisket. Look at the brisket. Yep. That's beautiful. <laughs> We're going to rip this off. Okay. It's cold right there. It's cold. Okay. It's not warm. Alright, but well, we're gonna try it anyway. It looks really good though, but yeah, it's not a warm temperature at all. That one right here, look at that. Yeah. That beautiful? Look at the heat. That's warm. I like the chicken. Mm -hmm. You did like the chicken? Oh, uh, very much so. Okay. Yeah. Right. If if it was warm, it would have been flawless. Okay. Here we go. Oh wow. Right to the bone. It's got a different sweet to it. It's really good. It's lip tender. Should we do it again? Try it. Alright, lip tender. Here we go. Yep. Look at that. With my lip. No tea. Come on. Yeah, nice. Wow. Alright, here we go. It tastes just like a rib outside. I mean, yeah. look at this. Look. Oh, I see it. Look at this. I can't even. It looks it's awesome. just. It's look at that. That's marbled. You can get lean if you got to order marbled. That's just gorgeous. I'm gonna do this uh, pulled pork right now. Yeah. I'm All right, try it. Get a good bunch. No. Big cheater. Well, I saw what you did. I didn't need to have a mouthful. All right. I'm good. Cool. All right. I'm, I'm gonna do the. Uh, oh, the dude, brisket. there's all the flavor right there. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit this. That's kind of like a burn in almost. Look at that. Look at that is gorgeous. It just, it's like an accordion. That's what it is. Mm. That's a home run. Oh, good. That's really good. Huh? Mm. I think I get most excited with the ribs on this on Yeah, this the, these things look delicious. They really do. Yeah. You don't have to use your lips, you can use your teeth. There you go. There you go. Okay. Is it the same? No. It's not. Well, it's because I had so much on that brisket, on that on the outside of you that. You can really get a good difference. This was more burnt flavor, this one. Right. This is a sweeter. Taste yes, on this is. rib, but I'm wondering on this piece of the brisket, like you ate, if it was Good. Break similar. Up, break up a piece and try it right now. I, I felt they were so similar. Come on. Okay, we just complimented you, dude. The, the outer bark doesn't break as easy, of course. All right, let's try. All right, try that. Try that. It is the same. It is the same. That All is right. the same. I thought so. Absolutely. Okay. But it's really good. All right. Awesome. So we'll talk more outside. Yeah. Because it, it would have got a, it would have ten from me. And now it's look at the get, meat though. How nice it looks. It's beautiful, dude. The meat is flawless, and they serve it cold. That's a bummer. Oh well. That's why. That's why we go on, you know, anonymously. Ready? 
this was a weird place because it was like unknown to me never heard of it nobody recommended it it was highly rated on the internet that's why we went there we added it in but i gotta tell you the sides i didn't like any of the sides the mac and cheese the macaroni was cooked perfect in fact it was probably the best cooked macaroni that we've had on the tour but the meat was over there was too much meat i, I can't even believe i'm saying that too much meat in the mac and cheese the cheese was tacky but not creamy cheese you want a thick creamy cheese for mac and cheese it, it just wasn't good uh the vinegar i loved in the coleslaw but there was something else that was just gross and then the potato salad that's not potato salad i don't know what that is if you saw the recipe of how they make it i guarantee it has a potato base but it's not potato salad so it tasted like something completely different uh the pulled pork was nasty dry really bad the ribs were really amazing really good the brisket was brisket and ribs were their best you got to get those and what was the other one? Oh, the chicken cold really cold it was hotter in the restaurant they could have left it out on the counter it would have been warmer than what they served us so saying all that ironically you ready for this they didn't get a really high score from us but I would go back to that place before I go back to Franklin's barbecue Okay guys, so uh, just left the smoke shack. Um, I thought it was actually really good. It was, it was solid all the way across the board. Um, I just started out with the sides, the ones I actually started with. Um, my favorite one out of the three was the coleslaw. It had a little vinegar taste, crunchy. It was good, the rest of them not so good. Um, too much meat in the other one. The uh, mac and cheese couldn't taste anything else other than the meat. When it got into the meats, um, I did really like the, the brisket. Um, had, a, had a honey type of a, a bark to it. It was delicious. The rib was fantastic. Um, the chicken would have been absolutely flawless. Um, I had to ding it on that one, but it came out just freezing cold. Um, you guys saw it, so anyway, I don't care how great the chicken is. If you serve that stuff like freezing, I don't care. It's done. Um, other than that, the, uh, what was the, last? the pulled pork, just forget the pulled pork. You guys saw the video. I mean, Jack ate his napkin, so <laughs> enough said about that. Um, other than that, though, guys, it was a great place. Um, I thought it was really good, so see you on the next one.